for you. I'm not talking about you now for a few more minutes, though, because this one up here is on the ground causing damage up here on the south side of Baldwin. We've got to stick with them for a minute here. I understand more people live in Tupelo. Those sirens are going off. Move to your tornado safe place. We'll talk more about you as that um, storm attempts more effectively to produce a tornado. Hopefully it doesn't produce one, but the concern tonight is that you do get these big tornadoes potentially. As I check this with StormTrack Doppler radar, uh, how fast are those winds? As you can see there, we're still talking um, pixel to pixel change there at 79 miles per hour. Does not look as impressive at that angle, uh, but certainly it has been up in excess of 100 miles per hour within the last few minutes. So likely still a damaging tornado on the ground at this moment in northern portions of Lee County. We should get a new scan coming in here in just a moment. There it is. Still tornado damage south side of Baldwin there along Cemetery Road now east of Mississippi Highway 145. This is going to be approaching Mississippi Highway 370 in the Pratt's community and the track very near 366 as we go back to the wind mode on storm track Doppler radar waiting for that to update. So we're tracking this based on debris and the debris here as you can see this blue. The only reason this exists is because it's saying there's something other than rain in there and that something other than rain is going to be um, leaves It's going to be tree limbs and hopefully that's it. Now the only positive I have for you is that um, that it does look just slightly broader, but as I go to the um, wind mode here, it might be weakening just a little bit, but I would still make the assumption that this is a tornado on the ground approaching Brat, uh, Pratt's is going to be um, running just south of 366 there um, on the south side of Baldwin. So our tornado approaching Cemetery Road and Southeast Avenue and South Street uh, and of course Road 2788 as it's um, in the northern portion of Lee County approaching Pratt's and locations um, toward Marietta. I'll give you a long track and now we got to go south on this for just a moment here. Okay, so this is a has been a large tornado. Um, certainly watching that uh, at this moment here. A confirmation now um, from some of the folks there. Uh, let's double check if whether or not we have something else going on here on the storm back west of Pontotoc here for a second. So get, give us a moment. As we look for, I might have a tornado there. Hold on, John, need your eyes on radar. Okay, let's look here, right there along Mississippi Highway 9 in Pontotoc County. That is a tornado debris signature there along Mississippi Highway 9, southwest of South Pontotoc School. Salmon Road is where all the Amish live out there. I don't know if you have some connections, but obviously the Randolph area, this is going to be going through a very vulnerable set of locations there. But we have a tornado that's on the ground southwest of Pontotoc now. So, um, or more west, southwest of Pontotoc. Yes, and growing in size. So just, you can see where South Pontotoc School is there. We got to get a storm track. You know some folks that live in Pontotoc. This one is now on the ground producing damage. Again, the concern is, is that these could produce strong tornadoes. Time to Pontotoc here. 110 current time is 101 so we have a tornado on the ground strengthening as we speak becoming a strong tornado unfortunately so how fast is that rotation on this coming in we're showing rotation almost 100 miles per hour on this at this moment here so for folks who live in Pontotoc and on this list snap a picture call somebody this is moving toward Tupelo we show 132 the time frame there this one is a strengthening and possibly strong tornado. We can confirm it on the ground now, and we confirm that it's becoming a large tornado in a hurry. If you know somebody, call them now. Let's talk a little longer track here for a moment. I see the mall on there, John. You know what that means? Yeah. That means it's on track for us at the TV station. Definitely. Um, at some point, let me make sure my phone is charged up 85%. The time will come if that, if necessary, we have to go to the basement here. We've worked out how that's all going to work. Unfortunately, that could be in the cards for us um, as that storm moves toward Tupelo. A large and a dangerous tornado on the ground in Pontotoc County, approaching Pontotoc proper, South Pontotoc Road, Salmon Road, Mississippi Highway 341, Foster Lane, Old Airport Road, West 8th Street in Pontotoc. Uh, they are all in the path of this growing, strengthening tornado. We've got two of them got to check the other one. As we look at this previously large and strong tornado up here uh, approaching the Pratt's community, there is
is still probably a tornado on this thunderstorm. I'd show it probably right over top of Mississippi Highway 370. This is the northern Lee and Prentice County line. So this is hugging the Lee and Prentice County line. It's going to stay very near Mississippi Highway 366. John, if you can, on to double check the angle, find out if the sheltering is in our future on that. Obviously the track has it close. So I want to get an idea of how close that is. So I'm um, trying to get the best view as possible. I got it uh, 45 in Easton, which is looking kind of west and southwest of our area. Looking okay, over. and actually take tower cam, swing it yeah, north I northeast do, if you I can. North northeast, okay. I had it, I had it aimed toward Pontotoc, so it'll go. Well, okay, no, no, leave it Pontotoc for just a second. Just okay. a second. Let's just double check it and then we're going to swing it north northeast, okay? So this is looking toward that, that Pontotoc storm long ways away, probably not going to have a shot, but this is going to get a lot more interesting in the next 20 minutes or so. So if you know somebody at Tupelo, give them a call. Unfortunately, it's going to be one of those nights. Okay, I'm going to pull that back down and let you swing that north there. So let's get a new storm track based on that, that latest location. I do believe it's reasonable to assume that this storm has weakened, this tornado has weakened. Could it set back down? Absolutely. Am I sure that it's lifted? No. Do I think there's an inkling that it probably is at least weakening or possibly has? Yes. So let me give you a longer track here for a moment and we got to go on that storm down south. Yes, John. Snap a picture, send it. Go, John. Okay, lightning. Take a look. Take a look. If you have a look at the okay. lightning on the, um, there's something there, I a think. No, in no, north northeast, looking toward the storm. That's okay. There's either a funnel a cloud or is that a low hanging cloud? I see. That's that. I see what you're saying there. Yeah, that's something. I think. Wow, I think. that's that is interesting. I think that's but something. I feel like that's closer. That's closer to us. I'm gonna. I'm gonna. Well, shrink this. I got. I got zoomed in. I got zoomed in. You have zoomed in. Yes. Well, that might be what, what we're looking at there. We're looking right along the edge. It's not inconceivable that that is a, that is a funnel cloud there, John. I'm going to keep that up. I've got to go okay. back to the okay. other storm. Yes. So that was the storm that was um, that, that caused the tornado in the northern part of Lee County. I have to kind of concentrate on this strong, strengthening tornado now along uh, Mississippi Highway 341 approaching Airport Road in Pontotoc. This is a different one than what you're looking at there. John has a shot looking up. I think it's reasonable that that might be scud cloud. I feel like the rain curtains in advance of that. So um, it's not impossible that that's what it is, but we need to probably swing back um, to the west on that there to make sure that we protect the west. John, I'm, I'm asking a lot of you. Thank you so much. I appreciate you. Current time is 1.05. I'm Chief Meteorologist Matt Lopon. We have two storms producing potentially tornadoes. One that has produced one strong and briefly large tornado in North Lee County and another one now producing a tornado southwest side of Pontotoc. So Roberts Loop 341, let's circle where we're looking at here on this tornado. I expect it probably on the next scan to be near Old Airport Road. This is going to be approaching Pontotoc on the southwest side of town. So for folks there, there's where our tornado debris is. That occurring with this low correlation. Well, as you can see, we, we were pretty close to right on that, but unfortunately this is a strengthening tornado. South side of Pontotoc, Mississippi Highway 15, intersection of Highway 41 within the next 30 to 45 seconds. Pontotoc, we have to be in that tornado safe place um, as, as this, is, this is significant. My, my locator, for whatever reason, my locator for Trace State Park is not in the right spot there. That's not where Trace State Park is, but it's important to note that Trace State Park is probably in the path of this. Let's get a longer track. Let's see how accurate we can be with this as we track that tornado debris signature there. And let's start talking ahead here for some extremely populated locations. Obviously, Pontotoc, you are in the path of this. Let's get the angle right. This is going to head into Tupelo. As you can see there, let's snap some pictures. Tornado safety rules, let's send this. And you can see sturdy structural middle, lowest floor, a small windows room where we can wrap up in blankets, pillows, put on a helmet to protect ourselves from debris and stay there until we can give you the on clear, all clear. Last report from the National Weather Service on this storm. The tornado debris signature on this storm, Pontotoc, is now lofted up to 12,000 feet. Why does that matter? As we unfortunately had a dissertation on last week, the higher it is, the stronger it is. When you get in this zone, the debris lofted up, 8 to 15,000 feet, we're talking about an EF2. That's a strong tornado. That's a tornado where now sturdy structures start seeing some of their roofs um, removed from them. Um, so unfortunately, this is a strong tornado that is strengthening still. 
Um, watching this as it continues to move on the south side of Pontotoc, we have to be in our tornado safe place. John, if you would, on to double check um, the Prentice County storm. Um, with as populated an area as this, this one is down here on the south side of Pontotoc, we can't deviate from this for a moment. So I next scan, it's going to be in the intersection of 45 and 15, excuse me, 15 and 41 on the south side of Pontotoc. So um, for folks that live near uh, West Side Drive, Liberty Street, all in the path of this tornado that we believe to be on the ground doing damage still on the south side of Pontotoc. Horseshoe Bend, Hall Road, south of Mississippi Highway 6, approaching Mississippi Highway, or US Highway 278. The Black Zion, Zion Church area there, Furs, all in the path of this tornado. So let's track it from where it's at. As you can see, next few minutes here, FERS is the next more major area in the path of this. And as I clear that off there, let's track it based on the, the track that gives us basically everything we could pop on there. Um, uh, New Hope Baptist Church, of course, this would be in Pontotoc County. We're looking that at a 113 for you. Old Natchez Trace Park, we're looking at 116 College Hill Church at 117, 117 Resident Church, and New Resident Church at 119. This is an area of uh, circulation that is a tornado on the ground producing damage at this moment. As I go back to the precipitation mode, yeah, I'd have it pretty much intersection of 41 and uh, Highway 15. A lot of information coming in here right now. Let's clarify what we're looking at. We're simulcasting, and this is an important thing that I want to put on here for a moment. Number one, we have a damaging tornado moving through some sections of the area and that has a tendency to knock out power and knock out cell service. So if your data goes out, we are streaming live on both KZ103 and 95.1 The Farm right now, okay? So your radios, battery powered radios, you can listen to us there. Maybe it's clock radio. Um, you can listen to my voice there. Well, I'll try to do a better job of giving you times and describing this as it comes through. But those are options. And of course, the WTVA weather app. Just a reminder, we are streaming live on there, assuming that you do, in fact, have um, internet service. Okay? So, latest positioning on the strong tornado again, where we expect it to be south side of Pontotoc there, moving through uh, along 40. Uh, one and its intersection with uh, Mississippi Highway 15. Looking for the debris mode, we're now east of that, the Horseshoe Bend and Hall Road. Moving toward New Hope Road. So this would be approaching Mississippi Highway 278. By the way, John's over there calling somebody right now. Got Gabe on the line. Uh, he's got Gabe, he's heading Gabe north. He's in Monroe County heading north. Where would you like him to go? I told him to stay a safe distance away until... He needs to stay a safe distance away. He needs to watch back to the west. I mean, yeah, we don't we'll, want you we'll, we'll eventually have him coming northward, but I mean, uh, we got to be careful. Um, we're four minutes away from 278, assuming, and we need to double check the speed here, that this is still moving 45 miles per hour to 50 miles per hour. So that's the intersection there. This would be Trey State Park, where um, Highway 6 breaks off from 278. We're less than four minutes away from there. What we believe to be a tornado on the ground could be potentially a strong tornado on the ground causing damage on the southeast side of Pontotoc. Uh, current time is now... Uh, 1 11 a.m. I'm Chief Meteorologist Matt Lopin alongside our meteorologist John DeLusick. We're looking for debris. We have one area there near Pontotoc where we've had it. We have another area where we previously had it, which would be up here closer to Marietta at this time. I have an area of rotation. I have up here toward Kirkville, another spot where I have strong straight line winds probably, and I do believe there's a severe thunderstorm warning in effect for those spots. Yes, our previous tornado uh, is no longer there. We have to watch this extended area here. Um, and uh, again, Kirkville, I'm going to give you a storm track there, but that's not a tornado yet. Um, but let's get a track ahead just in case it becomes one. Okay, so Sandy Springs in advance of that there, as you can see, Moore's Mill, uh, Sandy Springs 117, Moore's Mill 122. I'm going to get you a track that has more stuff on it. Get your camera out because I'm going to take a picture of this really fast because i got to go back to that Pontotoc storm. Okay, as you can hear the thunder and lightning picking up here at the television station. Take a picture of this, send it. Okay, five, four, three, two, one, clear. Let's go back out to Pontotoc County. Okay because there's no question this, on the southeast side of Pontotoc is a tornado pretty much over top of New Hope Road, I would guess. Um, let's talk about something here for a second, by the way. Power goes out from time to time, and it's reasonable that power is gonna go out and we're gonna go off the air. I have Facebook Live going here behind the scenes, um, and so that, that will help us out. Hey, Craig? Yeah. Um, 
Do you have MiFi? Why? Let's get a my let's get your MiFi on just in case. Right. We need it. Um, and if you can, I'll have you. I, I know there's a lot of people watching this one down here. I might have you make sure that this one uh, gets connected to your MiFi just in case we lose power. So we'll have both streams going at that point. Okay. So current time is 112. The tornado debris is slightly more broad. The tornado is not. We have a tight tornado here. I can't say it's a large tornado, but I can say it is a strong tornado. Uh, it looks like near New Hope Road approaching US Highway 278. This is Trace State Park there. That's the lake associated with that and New Hope Road. This is going to be moving at this angle into the west part of Tupelo. Let's get the angle right on this, okay? So I'm going to circle this at a couple points. So next scan is going to be here, okay? Previous scan. So there is our angle there. We're going to connect the dots here and get an angle on where this is going, okay? And again, it could move, it could change direction, lots of stuff will happen, but this is going to be passing through a lot of West Tupelo. This is going to be passing at, at assuming the angle doesn't change, and it could. Um, we're looking at this coming right through the center of Tupelo, right, basically tracking right along West Main Street, if not a little bit north of that, okay? So there's a tornado on the ground doing damage, moving through some of the most populated parts of the WTVA 9 News viewing area. If you know someone in Tupelo, call them. Now, your phone call could be something that saves a life because the current time is 1.14 a.m. and this is not a time where people have a tendency to be up. So as you can see on there, a large tornado is still possible out of this. As we check the debris mode, the damage mode, we should see a new scan on this here in a moment. Let's, while I'm out here, let's get a storm track and we'll, we'll send that storm track to some folks. So there's gonna be a whole bunch of stuff that pops on this when I do this storm track, okay? And then we're gonna talk about a few things here. So there's our storm track coming up. Let me pop on those tornado safety rules for a moment. I'll double check with Craig. Are you getting any information here behind the scenes that that you can let us know? I will, I'm not listening to the police scanners and I will be calling around. Right now, I think everybody's just kind of reacting to what you've been saying and what the Weather Service has been telling us. Is your MiFi up and, ready and, and working? Okay. Uh, you need you to put in that. Facebook Live is still going, so as soon as that's done, we need to put it back on Facebook Live. But I'm just prepping for the possibility here that we lose power, and I, and I hope that doesn't happen. That does happen from time to time. So um, let me know when you're done with that, and we'll put that back on there. Send this picture uh, to somebody uh, so that you can help them know that there's a potential tornado there. <laughs> as the National Weather Service says, I uh, need to be hyping Southern Tupelo. So there you go. Um, as I clear off that storm track here for a moment, go back to the wind mode on storm track Doppler radar. Uh, basically, I put our circulation right over um, a US Highway 278. Give me a moment while I switch this back to Facebook Live. For folks there, no, 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 you need to reconnect. There we go. I apologize for all those folks on Facebook Live that we did that to a second ago, but I just wanted to make sure that this was connected uh, to the MiFi here and hopefully it is still sending data. So that way, worst case scenario, we at least have something uh, if the power goes out. Okay? So there, um, okay. Let's reset for a second here. Do a complete reset. John, the other storm. Do we still have any tornado? Do not see as much that's standing out. There okay. is, there is, there, I would say there, was, there is somewhat of a circulation east, southeast of Marietta heading up toward the Belmont Golden area. Okay. Uh, I mean, that's what I'm, at least what's standing out right there. Okay, so there, there's some mid-level circulation there. By the way, reports yeah. coming in, Lee County Volunteer Fire Department reporting lots of damage in the Pratts Road, Highway 145 in Baldwin and east of Baldwin there. Okay. Um, so there we go. So I've got a west view on US 45 at Easton Boulevard. I'm watching that, that's about our best view that we have. What about Tupelo Tower I've Camp? I've got Tupelo Tower Camp in, in southwest. Okay, we're going to look back into that here in a moment. I'm going to get a storm track on this as well. This is going to be a more, um, more limited in number storm track. If we can get, I'll pull that down while, you, while you're looking for that. Do you have anything on that camera or are you just watching the camera? That stands out. Okay, so there's, there's our track. Of course, it's 
I need to move this east because that's previous location at this point here. So I would have it pretty much over top of Trace State Park right now. By the way, last report, the um, debris possibly as high as 19,000 feet. Why is that important? The tornado debris lofted height, unfortunately, is, is a big deal. If this is 19,000 feet. This means at some point in here, it's reasonable that we're talking about this as strong as those tornadoes that we had last week, EF3 in strength. So this is a strong tornado approaching West Tupelo, moving along West Main Street into the western part of the city. You can see the times there on your screen. I'll point this right there. That's what we're looking at. Strong tornadoes on this. Um, now, they do say it's possible that maybe the hail on this isn't getting it quite to 19,000 feet, but it's, it's, it is up to 12,000. We're at least a strong tornado on this. We'll see. None of that matters. Either of those is going to damage your home. So you need to be in a sturdy structure, a safe place as this tornado remains on the ground. As I pull off our torna tornado debris height there, right near the FERS area, this is tracked on the south side there of Trace State Park. This is approaching FERS Road. Um, I know there's a Zion Church that's over in this area. I've talked to someone just last week about that. Sims, Road, Sims Gin Road there, um, Lee Line Road. Uh, as we are watching this move toward Warren Lane, McPherson Street, Locust Lane, of course, Coley Road, and now we're into all the West Tupelo uh, subdivisions there. This is a tornado on the ground doing damage in a strong one. John, as we check this uh, this this uh, pixel to pixel wind change of about 100 miles per hour, this is a strong tornado at this time and certainly a concerning situation um, for folks. Any any shots on those cameras that, that I've are got you? Using? I've got you west uh, on 278. I'm um, excuse me, west on 45 at Eastern Boulevard. That's about the best west one you got. And you got this, the camera, our tower cam, pointed south southwest of our area right here. So that would be right into the center core of that storm, okay. right west of Tupelo. Okay, so we have multiple cameras. We'll have a shot of this. It looks like we got a lot eventually. of rain. We got a lot of rain in between. So that's what and that's a good point. There's a more than a decent likelihood we're not going to be able to see this. As I check the debris mode here, everything's still lining up. Unfortunately, for this to be a strong tornado as it moves into the west part of Tupelo. So again, a lot of subdivisions out here. Sims Road in the path of this. Let me know, John, when you're looking at those cameras when when you end up seeing something on it. We'll go with it there. Um, by the way, new tornado warning issued for the basically what, um, what we were looking up there related to the, uh, the previous one that moved through Marietta near Sandy Springs. New tornado warning issued. We're not going to spend a ton of time on it there, but we do have to get a storm track on moving east at 50 miles per hour. That's what we've been tracking it. As you can hear, my weather calls here behind the scenes going, take a picture. I can't stick with this. I got a high population area coming into Tupelo about to get hit, okay? Sturdy structure, middle, lowest floor. Snap a picture. You know somebody lives northern sections of Itawamba County, southern uh, Tishmingo County. Call them, let them know, okay? That could be a tornado, but this is a tornado. A strong tornado in Furs, tracking along West Main Street, Sims Gin Road, County Road uh, 1200, McPherson Road, all in the path of this tornado. Checking damage. I still show tornado debris now at Sims Gin Roads. So we're talking less than 30 seconds from the Lee Pontotoc County line. Within the next minute to two minutes, based on where we have it now, to McPherson Road on the west side of Tupelo. Call people, make sure they know. Our next scan will probably be right, I would place it at this exact instant, right there. That's where our tornado is. So as I pull this off, we put on basically every location that we can get on here. As you can see, Bissell 124, 121 Big Hill Methodist Church. And you can see we continue to kind of pull on other locations on here. Um, Tupelo Airport, 126. Current time is 122, four minutes away, okay? So that means unless something changes, in the next four minutes is gonna basically be to Coley Road. Your moments are ticking away. You have to be in a tornado safe place. These are strong tornadoes that we have seen tonight. We have had the we have had this thunderstorm here. Um, obviously, a situation we have to be very careful with. I'm gonna give me a half second here. Hey, I'm on the air with this. You got something?
Okay, we're fairly close to getting to the high school there. So I'm talking to the folks with uh, Tupelo Schools here for a second as they got folks pulling, pulling the high school, thunderclap and everything. I am, so for you specifically, um, there is a hope that it pulls a little north. I would say to the high school, we're talking no more than about four to five minutes, okay? Four or five minutes. Now, now listen. Now listen, it has weakened just a little bit, so there's some, some hope there, but it actually is probably closer to three minutes to two minutes, okay? Okay, good luck. Bye. Okay, uh, the reason that was worth taking is because they, you know, obviously one of the big storm shelters in Tupelo is at the high school on, um, in town. And so, unfortunately, um, of the folks pulling in at the last possible second, that happens with these overnight storms. If there is a blessing of any kind of blessings, this has broadened just a little bit in the last couple of moments here. I still show debris. And that debris showing up just south of um, West Main Street, actually drifting more toward the high school there, where we were looking at a moment ago. Um, so there is at least some positive hope on this at the moment that this could be weakening just a little bit. I mean, look at this with me, John. I mean, I... View southwest over toward the school. Okay, are you looking at which one? Tupelo Tower Cam? I'm looking, no, not with both Tower Cam, and I got a view from um, 45 and Eastern Boulevard that's looking okay. toward the school. And I'm trying to, it's trying to figure, it looks something ominous in the distance on the left side, but I can't place it very well. Okay, Every now and then. lightning. And Tupelo Tower Cam, up, to, up top, we're not going to have anything. So we got that other one. We'll leave the other one up here for a moment with us. It's at 45 on the south side here, Eastern Boulevard. Okay. Reminder one more time that if your signal goes out for whatever reason, we're, we are streaming live on KZ 103 and 95 won the farm. Okay. We've seen some weakening. I'm hoping that that continues on this storm, but I mean, that's not, I don't want you to read too much into that at this point here. We've got to be in our tornado safe place if we live in Tupelo, because even if it briefly weakens, these storms have produced new tornadoes again and again, and that could be a possibility. But as of the latest information we still have, I'm still confirming tornado debris on this thunderstorm near Hancock Road, just west of Coley Road, west of Road 261, right along the uh, Highway 6 West Main area. This is our area of circulation there. Let's circle it for you. Give me two seconds to check on Itawamba County. Just make sure that one's not producing at this moment. They've just been so fast to do so. Let me double check. I don't have a tornado on this one yet, so we got to come back. We have a high population center being impacted by this tornado at this time. So current time is 1.25. I'm Chief Meteorologist Matt Lopon. You're watching WTVA 9 News alongside our meteorologist John DeLusick and our Craig Ford behind the scenes here. The tornado circulation is starting to tighten up a bit more in Itawamba County. If you live in northern Itawamba County, I need you in your tornado safe place. That'd be the lowest floor of a sturdy structure, a small windowless room where you can wrap up in blankets and pillows, put on a helmet to protect yourself from debris, and stay there until we can give you the all clear. As I clear off that circle, I got to make it bigger. Not because the tornado is bigger, but because the uh, uncertainty is greater. And that's a good thing. Uncertainty is a great thing when it comes to tracking tornadoes. Unfortunately, I still am getting tornado debris. And I show that pretty much over top of the Tupelo High School area there. So hopefully those folks going into the dome or in shelter, say a little prayer for them tonight. You know, it's the folks that are in the cars and mobile homes. That is always our greatest concern. Those are always our unsafe places. And if you live downstream of this, in Fulton, for example. If you live, um, I mean, let's be honest there, uh, Moorville, we're probably you know, too late to get to any place else. Mantachi, this is probably a little south of you. Um, but Fulton, you know, you're downstream of this. There are storm shelters, get more information there. Of course, you're northern in Wamba County, you can't be going anywhere right now. We're making the best we can of what we have. As I check the wind mode here, still showing circulation that could be a tornado attempting to regenerate or could still be a tornado ongoing in the Tupelo area. I'm looking on the south side of town. I'm looking here. This is Cliff Kukin. This is Spring Lake Subdivision. This is going to be Lee Acres, a Lawndale there, the Medical Center, all in the path of this circulation that's moving through the south side of Tupelo now. Um, as we check out that camera, John, you still got that camera up? Okay, John's going to get it back up for I'm us I'm going back up to it. I was looking north. 
Okay, whenever you, okay. Hang on, okay, let me go, I was trying, I had a good, a good shot. I'll, I'll, pull, I'll pull it up here. Let's pull up Tupelo. We're gonna look at Eason. And we're gonna look back at all the different directions on that at the second here. The storm is re-strengthening, okay? This is the one we'd be looking at, and this circulation is starting to strengthen again right there as we look back toward the west into it. John, keep that camera up. We might go to Ver Hello, I got North 278. There we go. Got some wind. Got some good, strong wind right now. Okay, John. Okay, let's, get, let's check where the debris is showing up on here. I still show debris. Though lighter return, hopefully it's debris settling out, but over Spring Lake. Well, got some that. very strong wind. Hey, Matt, northbound. North, I got... Okay, give me a second, John. I'm sorry. Okay. I see that, I see that, that, that wind is from the west to the east, so we're at north 145 and 278. That's basically north side of Verona there along Gloucester Street, where Gloucester Street goes into Verona. Strong winds, that camera definitely jostling around associated with that. Notice the shift in wind direction. It has a little more this direction. It's ingesting that into our developing tornado there. So I think our tornado could be attempting to redevelop if it, God, call some folks, make sure they don't, that they're not on the phone, for, uh, not on the road for this. This is not, not a time we need to be on there. Let's get a new storm track on this based on where we expect this to reform, which is on the south side of Tupelo. Let's double check to make sure that is accurate, that that's where we expect it to. Precipitation mode does not give us a whole lot and wind mode is at least somewhat broader than it had been. That would be our spot. Let's double check here. Near the Audubon subdivision, where our circulation is still showing up. Uh, approaching ICC Tupelo, the South Green Street area, and it's going to track along Eason. Again, uh, John still, which camera do you got up? Okay. John, give me Eason West and let's hold it, okay? And let's, let's stay on that camera. Eason West, I'm going to um, and, and, and the only place we might go is 278 eventually, okay? But we're not doing that. Let's stick on east and west here for a few moments, okay? Going back to the wind mode again, no confirmation there. Still showing debris here south of the medical center, but a lot of times when it gets lighter like this, that's debris settling out of this. If it gets flung up 15,000 feet or so, this is slowly settles out. So I do not think that that is new tornado debris on this thunderstorm. I think that is old tornado debris settling out of it at this moment. Still, I'll say this, this is a fairly tight interaction right along there. So basically from, this is going to be from the medical center back toward the south and east where I'd have this at this moment there from basically um, the Cooper Tire Plant. That's where this is attempting to redevelop right now in Tupelo, moving along Eason Boulevard there toward ICC Tupelo. Uh, those are the most likely locations to have some impact right now. Debris is something I cannot confirm at this instant, thankfully. But looking at that latest scan there, again, it is strengthening once again. So I do think, as we circle this, that our tornado is attempting to redevelop here. Oh, there goes my power. Let's, let's see if we can hold on to it. If we lose power, we're going to be on Facebook Live, okay? There's two Facebook Lives going. It's going to be on the second one of those, okay? So I've lost some stuff behind the scenes, but it does look like we are still officially on the air, even though I can't hear anything right now. I don't know if you can hear me. Let's hope you can. As we take this wider, let's get a storm track out. Snap a picture of this. Oh, we off the air. Let's find out. Oh, we're barely hanging on. Check, check, check. Barely hanging on here. We're still on Fox and Me TV. Okay. So we are still on Fox and Me TV. Um, on a storm that we believe is a tornado that's attempting to regenerate. Let's look up here, Itawamba County. As we come back to Itawamba County here for a moment, tracking that storm there near Jericho Road. No tornado debris on that one there. Uh, Northern Itawamba County about to move into Alabama. Red Bay, we need to be in our tornado safe place um, for Red Bay, okay? So Red Bay, I'll show you 136, 141 for Seven Pines, Halltown 142 and 145 there in burnout. 
Um, as we bring things back to the Tupelo area, again, high population center with an impact here from this uh, tornado. We have a new tornado that's touched down, unfortunately, just south of ICC Tupelo. Yes, we have a tornado on the ground once again. We've probably had damage along 45. That would be very near where the Cooper Tire plant was. Craig, I don't know if you overheard that. Okay. Unfortunately, new TDS. And uh, TDS in my chat with the, that's got to go to Memphis. Yeah, I mean, we're going to go east from Eason. East from Eason is going to have it. Two. Um, okay, not well, I'm not, I'm not going to worry about that. But we've had some power issues there. So, new tornado on the ground moving toward, uh, that would be State Park, along State Park Road in the general direction there of um, uh, potentially Moorville, but, but we're looking at Tom Bigby State Park. This is a strengthening tornado on the ground once again causing damage. We mentioned before we got knocked off of NBC that it was possible that uh, that this could um, that this this could restrengthen it certainly has. Well, we've taken a power hit here. I am going to attempt to reset my monitors for a moment. Give me a moment while I do that. Uh, a couple of different ways here. So I'm going to turn that off. Turn it on here. New tornado warning, by the way, is what you hear coming across my phone. A new tornado warning for this uh, thunderstorm that is, continues to be a damaging tornado potentially. Call Carol Moore. Call someone I know in advance of that. We'll see if she is out of the way of that. This is going to be north side there of Plantersville. Um, yeah, that is a strong tornado okay, return. I got it. You good? Okay, bye. I've been well, thank you. Okay, good, bye. Okay, so um, this is moving toward uh, road 1113, a strong tornado hey, on the Thomas, ground doing uh, damage uh, as we in, speak, uh, uh, moving there along 1050 tires, toward uh, um, Tom Bigby State Park. Can someone verify for me that we are right now live on, uh, the, on the app? Check to make sure we are live, check to make sure we have audio. Thank you. This is a significant tornado on the north side of Plantersville. Um, as I check the wind mode there, the wind is not as obvious, but this is a clear-cut tornado debris signature. There's no question about that. I mean, the reason this exists is because of what, um, fortunately, is going on here in this tornado that is on the ground on the southeast side of Tupelo. So I put it approaching uh, Tom Bigby State Park. Right now, a large and potentially violent tornado on the ground at this moment here, continuing to strengthen. Unfortunately, it's in a development phase, but it's a, there's a lot, of, a lot of things for it to hit out here. A lot of trees, some pretty roads that aren't going to be so pretty tomorrow, unfortunately, based on this. So, prayers needed to hope that this lifts here pretty soon as it tracks along State Park Road. And unfortunately, I know that there are a lot of mobile homes and unsafe places that are along this road as well. Cars, trucks, mobile homes are places we don't need to be. We need to be in small windowless room. A uh, place where we can wrap up in blankets and pillows, put on a helmet to protect ourselves from debris, and stay there until we can give you the all clear. Again, Palm, Tom Bigby State Park is in the path of this. A lot of folks that consider themselves residents of Mooreville on the south side of Mooreville in the path of this storm, in the path of this tornado um, causing damage as we speak. Our meteorologist, John DeLusic here. John, what do you got? Take two. He's, he's uh, pointing out. Take he's, two. He's what do you got on two? He got some video on two of the uh, possible tornado. On two? Um, yeah. No, no, no. It, what, what on two? Oh, um, the the uh, video of the tornado on gate. I, mean, I need uh, it on three. Okay, you don't get it on three. If you can get it on three, okay. I can show it. I can't okay. show it otherwise. Okay. What do we got going on here? Who's all? Still on KZ103? Uh, still on the radio? A lot of other spots there. Yes, yeah, so are we live on the app? Can you hear me? Good. Okay. So. We need to go to the other storm for two seconds here because getting reports uh, that that one could be producing a tornado, about to produce a tornado as well. National Weather Service watching that one near Red Bay. Uh, this would be up near Belmont. Yes, near Belmont. Just east of Belmont. Looks like we might have had... That's an interesting position. Yeah, we might have had a tornado touchdown there as well, moving toward Pleasant Site. It's going to be a quick track here. There's our direction, Pleasant Site 143, moving toward you. This is a tornado on the ground at this moment doing damage just east of Belmont, uh, northern portions of Franklin County, Alabama. So 
take a screenshot. Folks that live out there near Highway 11, Jimmy Raper Road uh, in northern Franklin County. Tornado confirmed on the ground doing damage as we speak. We're going to revisit that here in a moment. Large tornado, uh, potentially large tornado on the ground here uh, over top of Tom Bigby State Park. As you can see on the top of your screen there, this is a large tornado producing considerable damage. Um, Unfortunately, moving near uh, County Road 149. Let's talk time the Mississippi Highway 371. So this is going to be approaching Mississippi Highway 371 within the next three minutes or so. So within three minutes, it should be the Mississippi Highway 371. It'll be to um, County Road 1439 in two minutes, and in less than one minute, the County Road 12, I believe that's 1282. So this is a strong tornado on the ground doing damage as we speak here. As we just continue to have um, reports coming in from folks here uh, all around the area about what's going on here as we continue broadcasting live here. Uh, and we are back on NBC, it does look like, at this moment here. A um, lot of folks making sure I know that we're on the app and we're every, everywhere else like that. Um, appreciate all the folks that you know, take care of me as we try to take care of you. Appreciate that. Our debris signature is less impressive this scan. I think we still have a tornado uh, doing damage here approaching Mississippi Highway 371 in Ballardsville and Dorsey. This is on a track that would take it very close to Fulton. I don't know if I've had you in a storm track, Fulton. I apologize for that. Been in a little too close perhaps on Tupelo uh, because of that. Let me see if I can extend this out and get some times there. So as I go back to the debris mode here on Storm Track Doppler Radar, we need to adjust our track. That's not a good track. That's a better track. So we are looking at uh, Ballardsville at 143, Dorsey 145, Fulton 153, Clay Community 158, 207 Eastman, Bounce Crossroads 209, and Shotsville at 214. This is a tornado that is likely still causing damage. It doesn't look quite as strong as it did just a minute ago here, but it is uh, potentially still causing damage at this moment. So we need to take this seriously and be in our tornado safe place. That of course is the lowest floor of a sturdy structure, a small windowless room where you can wrap up in blankets and pillows, put on your helmet to protect yourself from debris and stay there until we can give you the all clears. You can see considerable damage possible out of what has previously within the last few minutes been a large tornado and could potentially still be. Um, Radar is not perfect, and any positives I gave you a second ago on that, on that tornado debris signature should be erased now. That has strengthened a bit more. Um, the debris looking a little more concentrated than a minute ago. Typically, if your tornado is lifted, it's going to get lighter blue, lighter blue, lighter blue. This has not done that. And this is moving more southeast. East, southeast. John, check the angle with me, okay. at least on the debris. Yeah, it's moving more east and maybe even little, just east, southeast. Bit of a yeah. It might turn to the right a little bit. Snap a picture of this. You know somebody that lives in Fulton, live in Itawamba County, lives south of uh, Moorville. Snap a picture, send that to them. We gotta go wide this for a second here. I need to make sure there's not something else that we are missing. Okay? As I clear that out, we have additional severe thunderstorm warnings out there that we're watching. We're gonna have to revisit the one up around um, the Red Bay area. As we look at storm track Doppler radar, still watching again some broad circulation out there, Calhoun City. Um, we talked about this earlier. There's, they're just going to do a long track on this. How about that? Just a nice long track. Was that from Northern Why? Monroe because County? we have some folks that were hit last week. And so this is a severe thunderstorm warning where rotation has been detected, but I cannot at this moment confirm a tornado touchdown on this. Um, but there hasn't been a ton of lead time between, hey, it looks like it's rotating to bam. So there's your track for folks in Amory, 2.50ish in the morning. I know you're watching this very closely. I don't blame you for any nervousness that you might have. Yes, John. Five, 10 minutes ago, Gabe saw the tornado. And he's got a video. It's on the, the, uh, our share that we have, the WTVA. You know, we have the uh, weather page with, uh, you know, with all the... I don't know anything. With all the, uh, you know, all the weather folks on there, the, the WTVA right there off of our Gmail. Okay, but, yeah. but our chat? Yeah, our chat, yes. I don't, okay, I don't, I don't see it, it in the chat. It should be. Here's I Gabe. See Gabe I, do, North I, do, I do have Gabe right here. Okay, let's talk to Gabe real okay. quick here. Yeah. Okay, Gabe, right, this is our uh, meteorologist, Gabe Maynor, who, uh, where are you at right now? 
So we're in Southern Lee County along 45, and we're staring at the tornado right now. We're about 10 miles south of it, so we're out of the way of it. But it is on the ground. It is massive, and it is doing doing damage. Lots of lightning associated with it. Um, there are still cars out on the road. Uh, they need to they need to get to shelter now. Tornado sirens going off in Shannon right now, so it's still a little bit west, but um, it's moving east. It's moving east fast. It's okay. still massive and on the ground. To clarify, I have it basically on the Itawamba Lee County line. Is where I show my debris right now. I just want to make sure that that's where we're looking. Yes. So we're uh, we're on 45, basically in the center of Lee County, uh, or center center of the southern portion, and we're staring northwest right now. And it, it, northeast, it, it, northeast, correct? On. Northeast. Yes, northeast. Sorry. Okay. So there you are. So confirmation from our meteorologist Gabe Maynard of what is a large tornado still on the ground doing damage as he is looking at this from 45. This would be, he's looking toward the Richmond community, a damaging tornado. As you can see, that, that this whole blue area you see there, that is all there because of tornado debris uh, on this thunderstorm. So Ballardsville, Abney, this is going to be tracking toward I-22. Joel, uh, not Joel, um, Gabe, I'm going to keep you on the phone with me here um, just so you can tell me as you see it adjust. Now, I know the rain curtain at some point here is going to come around and that might, um, not, might impede your view, um, but just let me know as you see it. Still on the ground? Yes, so we're actually, there's an open field beside uh, Highway 45 and we can see it. It's, it's gone across that, that whole Lee County area, basically stretching from west to east and yeah, it's, it's still on the ground. Every flash of lightning we get, we can just see that funnel. And it's just, it's also hard because it's rain wrapped. And so navigating that funnel within it is difficult, but I mean, it, it's there. Okay. Question. John said you sent it in. Where did you send it? So I posted it on my Twitter. On, Gabe, on your Twitter. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Let's pull it from his Twitter, put it in our chat. Can we do Which chat? Is it in the newsroom chat? Okay, you're gonna, I need you to come over here and show me where it is because I can't, I can't find it. That's the severe weather chat, this one. Yeah, there it is right there. Oh, okay, hold on. Okay, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. No, that's okay. okay, so let's pull up Gabe's video here. Okay, we've got your video up here as you were watching this as it came through the area. So this, I'm actually going to keep it small for a moment here. And that was earlier on when it was in Central Lee County. So it's progressed a little bit since then. Okay. So as you can see, and I have some, some locations there showing up. The Power Zone Gym we show at uh, 149, Friendship Church 150, Fulton 154. Our current time is 145. So nine minutes into Fulton. Uh, this is a tornado that has produced damage and has continued to do so as it works its way into Itawamba County. So it is crossing out of Lee County, moving into Itawamba County. Let's do some all clears. You live in Tupelo, all clear from this storm. Um, and you're right. I, I can see what you're talking about there. You do have to wait for flashes to see it. Um, that's, that, that's rough looking. So I appreciate that. Um, uh, is it still on the ground from your vantage point now? Because... Yes, it's still, we just got a flash of lightning. So we're actually going to go down 45 south and try and stay just south of it, at, but monitor it because there's another field we can get and catch up with it and continue to monitor it. So okay. uh, we're about to navigate towards that way. Be smart, be careful. Always more important to get you back than have a picture of a tornado, okay? Yes, sir, will do. Okay, stay be careful. There too. Well, yeah, thank you. I appreciate it. We'll talk to you soon. So meteorologist right. Gabe Maynard, as you saw a video of this tornado um, when it moved through portions of Lee County just a little bit ago. I appreciate that, John. Here is this. Let's um, reset here for a moment. Tornado debris still detected on storm track Doppler radar, though I do not at this instant have as well-defined uh, circulation showing up. I still show that debris. That's what this blue area is right there near Kyle Road. This is moving toward, um, of course, um, the Fulton area, pretty much as we speak, and I'm trying to. I'm, I'm curious as to why Fulton itself is not coming up on that list. So let's get all that stuff off of there, and let's make sure that it specifically says the word Fulton. I need to see that on here. Yes, John. Got confirmation. I know some folks at uh, Cooper Tire. Let's now. pop John's mic up. Let's make sure John's mic is on. You got okay. You got confirmation, and and let's go ahead and put you over there in the weather center, and we'll get the shot okay. on there. Um, for you, and I don't know if we can reset the IFB over there. I'll have to I'll have to check that in a minute so we can hear behind the scenes. 
So as, as I get this on there to make sure, for whatever reason, Fulton is not popping onto this map, and I do not know why. Well, okay, because downtown Fulton isn't there. Okay. So the wall, let's, let's pull out the, this. Are we safe to send people out to check damage in Tupelo? Got Cooper Tire. Yes. Okay, yes. Oh, man, it did hit it. It's okay, so are we safe to send people out in Tupelo? Y probably, yes. Yes, we are. So. New tornado warning down here, though, from Calhoun County, stretching there, as you can see, into uh, Houston, Oklahoma. Let's, get, let's look at this. This is Doppler radar indicated rotation. These are folks that we have not had it before. This is maybe just uh, covering some tail feathers here, but there are areas of rotation. Considering the history we've had, safe is better than sorry. Agree? I think I would. Okay, so let's track. I'm going to track the leading edge of this at 50-ish miles per hour. We'll say 55. Uh, we need to change this to 50. 50 miles per hour from Vardaman, Calhoun City, Slate Springs. That's what we're watching there, moving eastward. So there's our track. There are some times. While we're talking about this, as you heard a moment ago, confirmation of at least some damage at Cooper Tire. That, um, that would have been with the second generation of that storm uh, as, it, as it strengthened there. Um, also reports of trees and power lines down and a gas leak in the Golden area from the North Mississippi Storm Chasers and Spotters working to confirm that. Uh, at this moment here. So unfortunately, uh, this has, uh, has turned into a violent evening for severe weather and hopefully, um, hopefully this does not get any worse. Our Ethan Foster uh, with, uh, with a video coming in here, I believe he's with our Gabe Maynard. Let's see what he had to show us here a moment ago as they're looking back toward that tornado. Uh, I think Gabe's likely looking on the phone while he's talking to me there and we'll see if with some lightning strikes. I'm going to make this slightly smaller. You could see that in the middle. You look there Just for a second like you got one you. flash. You could see I know it. some folks that work at Cooper There's Goodyear. There's some rain, so I can't say 100% sure some. on that shot there. Most of what you see there is a rain curtain wrapping around, and the tornado will probably be back in there. Very difficult to see, so you'd have to have lightning strike in just the right spot. So as we come up here north, we in Fulton have to be in our tornado safe place. This is a tornado that has... Uh, been confirmed to cause damage on multiple occasions recently, could still potentially be doing that. Um, I see the area on precipitation mode where things are flowing in here, trying to wrap back around this, uh, moving there toward the south side, as you can see, of Fulton, south of I-22, where it is the strongest um, as it's moving in. So we have to be in our tornado safe place if we live in Fulton. Uh, this is a situation uh, that could be a life-threatening situation if not taken seriously. Um, it looks like I have lost some internet connection on one of my connections here to where we talk back and forth with the National Weather Service. So let me take a second here to make sure I have that all the way back up and going. As we look here in the description still, uh, observed tornado, uh, extremely dangerous one moving into parts of Fulton. Even though the wind mode here is a little bit less conclusive, I still have some debris floating overhead, possibly drifting into the Fulton area. This storm on multiple occasions has produced tornadoes and could be trying to produce another one again. I got to check up here toward Pleasant Site, uh, up here where we previously had that tornado again. We, we know we had uh, close to the Golden area. Yep, right there. That's what it would have been. There's Golden, and that was tornado debris about 1.30. We had that there, as you can see. Um, one particularly long lived, but likely had a damaging tornado there. As I um, widen this out just a little bit and we try to go back to the precipitation mode, what I'm, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to stop. We're going to take a look here at the whole thing and get a sense for what we're dealing with. So we have three tornado warnings, one maybe, one recently strong, and another maybe. Um, the thinking is, is that tornadoes, if they occur tonight, can quickly strengthen into strong tornadoes. We've seen that multiple times in the last hour. Um, and unfortunately, it's possible we could see it again. Current time is 1.51. We're watching from Lloyd to Calhoun City. As we're looking here, I show near Calhoun City where the lightning has intensified kind of on the front end of this here. But we're also seeing, as I go back to the precipitation mode, um, some rotation back out there closer to the derma area. Um, we'll be approaching Vardaman. Let's just go ahead and track any of these areas rotation like there's something more. So as I track that east, again, speed on these storms has been about 45 miles per hour. See Hollis at 155, 
Vardaman a couple of moments later. This is um, an area of rotation. I cannot guarantee at this moment that it is a tornado, um, but certainly one we are going to have to watch closely. So um, I would highly recommend, based on what we have had tonight, that you are in a sturdy structure. Maybe it's not a tornado shelter, maybe it is a tornado shelter, but highly recommend you get yourself to a sturdy structure. I have to take a couple moments here because my batteries in my mouse have doing, done their things. Give me just a second while I change those out. So you can see those times. If you know someone who's ahead of this, let's make sure to call them and let them know that this could be a storm trying to produce a tornado. Considering the strength of the storms that we have had, um, the assumption should be that strong tornadoes are on the table as a possibility going forward. The description on Itawamba County from the National Weather Service in Memphis is cycling. What does that mean? That means, hi Maggie. That means that uh, it is attempting to re-strengthen once again. Um, the life cycle of these can be they strengthen, weaken, strengthen, weaken. It's in the weakening and trying to reorganize mode here on the south side of Fulton. And right there, you can see near Hollowell, Hopewell Keys Road, Van Buren Road there, approaching Tin Tom Waterway, could be the spot that that is happening. Let's see if that matches the precipitation mode. It does fairly well. Um, I do not have tornado debris on that at this moment here, but that is one of those spots we're going to have to watch where I think in the next scan or two, this could again re-strengthen and try to produce another tornado. Um, this has been, been the zone where we've consistently had it, and we could see that try to form again here as well. I am not having a great uh, angle on, on some of the damage and stuff coming in here. John and uh, Maggie, I'm going to need some reports on that. If, you, if you're seeing any, I know it's night. There might not be a lot of folks out there. Um, what are we finding out from folks as far as damage is concerned? And I do want to pop up the Cam 6 and the 2 box with John to do this. If we could, please, behind the scenes there. All right? So, All right. So okay. you, you can see John and Maggie right, both back there. Right now, uh, looking for damage. And again, uh, what does stand out, I have talked to the folks at, uh, from Cooper Tire Goodyear now, uh, Cooper Goodyear. Uh, there is roof damage uh, okay. right now trying to check and see how bad uh, I'm trying to get in touch with some of the folks and see how bad it is but it's uh, at least some roof possible roof damage right what now else checking. have you heard reports of John? I have not heard much I know Craig's keeping a lot of tabs on what's going on with uh, a lot of places but I, I've not heard much on uh, damage beyond that but uh, that at least shows us at least it was going through the south side of Tupelo as we had it right down there through the south side of Tupelo and I'm checking some places down in that area of Tupelo, Verona area and also south side of Tupelo just checking around trying to find somebody that's you know open this time of night or you know at least uh, trying to get some word if anybody wants to send word I mean you can easily just uh, if you do have some damage now that's post the event uh, email if you us. have damage not yeah. if you go looking for damage right yeah, yeah if you have we damage. need to stay in yeah. uh, with yeah. the potential for damage out there we don't need you know, nails yeah, no, we don't things. want anybody looking around for damage but if you have damage definitely weather at WTVA.com or news at WTVA.com tell us about where you're at and what's going on what you've seen okay yep. Beans Ferry Road um, just along I-22 Along I-22, we have an area of circulation there that's going to be approaching Tremont, right there. There's a couple spots there near Cardsville and the one up here closer to I-22, both getting more organized as we speak. And sometimes the debris has led our various scans and showing up there. We could have this strengthening once again, trying to produce another tornado here uh, in uh, the Fulton area on the southeast side of town. Let's get a storm track. Let's put everything on it. We can. Let's get, I'm going to track this northern part here toward Tremont, Bexar, Shotsville, all on the path of this uh, as we work this toward the east. So this is Doppler radar indicated rotation that could potentially lead to a tornado redevelop. And that's the problem. This has developed multiple times. So again, here are your tornado safety rules. We need to be in the lowest floor of a sturdy structure, a small windowless room where we can wrap up in blankets and pillows, put on a helmet to protect ourselves from debris, and stay there until we can give you the all clear. Um, the rotation is certainly strengthening a bit on this. Uh, so we're going to have to watch it very, very closely, unfortunately, as it continues to work its way eastward. Um, the folks in National Weather Service Birmingham have also issued their own tornado warning on this because what happens is as things strengthen aloft on these storms, then that ends up getting pulled down closer to the ground over time. So certainly the concern there uh, that, we could, uh, that we could deal with. Um, so... Yes, so our folks all around the area slowly are going to their storm shelters as these storms move into their areas. Um, as we um, slide southward here, 
with special consideration for folks there in Monroe County. Uh, obviously, you know, in Ch far eastern Chickasaw, Monroe County, we had some bad storms last week. I know we have people that are absolutely on edge. And do I blame you? Not in the least. We're going to have to watch this one near Calhoun City. They have been moving more east than northeast. So more McCondy, Gibson probably in the path of this. We'll have to see whether or not this gets more organized, but that one near Calhoun City there eventually could have some other folks in its sights. So there's our track, Eastern. Give me a moment here.